Hey guys, Mr. Giles here again. I am going to talk to you today about adjectives. Anybody know what an adjective is? Well, we, we did nouns already, right? Nouns are things or people, right? Adjectives are words that describe nouns, basically. Okay, so um, adjectives, you know, when you use an adjective with a noun, it might kind of give you more of an idea of what we're talking about, like what it looks like, what it sounds like, what kind of thing it is. Um, so it helps the person who's listening to you or reading what you wrote to kind of picture what you're talking about. And it just makes things more interesting. If you use an adjective, it makes it a lot more interesting to listen to or to read, right? Whatever it is. So for example, if I said, I'm wearing a shirt, all right, that's kind of boring, right? But if you describe the shirt, if you say, I'm wearing a, a what is this, purplish blue shirt, that kind of helps you picture what I'm talking about, right? It's a little more interesting. If you said, he's eating chicken, that's boring. I don't care. But if you said, he's eating stringy, chewy chicken, or spicy chicken, or he's eating moldy, gross chicken, okay? All those words that I added in front of chicken, those are adjectives, right? Moldy, gross, stringy, chewy, spicy, those are all adjectives. They describe the noun chicken, right? And they help you picture what we're talking about, make it more interesting. Um, so let's practice a little bit with kind of getting used to what adjectives are. How about some more examples? What if I hold up something and you tell me what adjectives come to your mind? Here's some tweezers. Just say it. No, I can't hear you, but go ahead and say it. I can sense what you're saying. Okay, did you say black? Did you say shiny, maybe? How about pointy? Ow. Pokey. Sharp. Any of those things describe tweezers, right? Small, straight, pronged. You can get all kinds of fancy adjectives, right? Um, so adjectives, adjectives can be like really simple, like red or big, or they can be really fancy, like uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. But it's not a real word, though. So you know they can be anywhere in between. Um, let's see. Let's hold up something else and tell me what kind of adjectives come to your mind. Here's something that happens to be on my desk. Sorry to scare you. It's a little scary. Anyway. This is a sloth, in case you didn't know that. What adjectives are coming to your mind? Yeah, like little, cute, cuddly, soft, big-eyed. This thing has really big eyes. Creepy might be a word I would use. Whoa. Okay, so, right, did you, did you get that? Um, I don't know. What about me? Look at me and say any adjectives that come to your mind. Are you doing it? Did you think of handsome right away? That was, that was the first thing that came to your mind, right? Handsome, manly, intelligent, highly educated. Old. You didn't say old, right? Mm -mm. That would never cross your mind. Okay, so there's lots of things. Um, Let's see, what else? So, oh, I should point out that adjectives can come, like, before the noun. Like, you could say, the creepy sloth is staring into my soul. It's creepy. Or, you could say, the sloth is creepy, right? The adjective could come after the linking verb, which is is. The sloth is creepy. Or the creepy sloth is staring into my soul. Two ways to use adjectives. And you know what? I'm not thinking of any other things I need to tell you about adjectives right now. So just take a minute and look around the room and describe whatever you see with at least one adjective. Try and come up with some cool descriptive adjectives. Like if I was going to look around, I would say the lamp is yellow and 
a little moldy, I think. What is that? Anyway, um, oh, here's a good one. The feather duster is very fluffy and soft. <laughs> the feather duster is dusty, too. All right, there's like tons of stuff you could do this with. Just look around. Describe stuff with as many adjectives as you can. They describe nouns. Adjectives are very useful. You should use them whenever you're writing and when you're speaking. Okie dokie. So that is what I have to say about adjectives. I will see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.